You're right. Also, I thought I'd just um, go over a bit of a CPR. Not a not a usual, typical setup, but um, but it's there in the sense that um, there are definitely traders caught uh, in in around this area. And uh, so let me explain. As you can see, uh, one second. If you were a, uh, a trader, right, and you saw this in real time. Yeah, what would you? What are what? What are you likely to do? You're likely to see this level of resistance. Resistance. Yeah, prices are making higher highs, higher lows. What should happen? We get a bounce off there. Nice little bounce. This is a one hourly chart. Um, I like to look at the one hour just simply because I know that a lot of day traders will look at the one hour chart, um, and then the one hour chart is traded a lot. And then you get a move that comes slightly down, but then it starts to hold, right? It starts to hold. It's pretty stopped out. A few of these traders anyway, looks for the liquidity, right? But it starts to look like it's holding now, yeah? So it generally, traders are looking to get involved. You're seeing some bullish price action there, some pin bars, some engulfing. So it might look like just a deeper, bit of a deeper pullback. They didn't time the entry right. Traders are probably getting involved in this area. And all of a sudden, we get... Prices look like they're going higher and then they come down, right? So there's a level there, that, that level, according to everyone who trades support and resistance, that level would be now gone. There's breakout traders getting involved to the short side. Yeah, definitely on that level. Um, you know, if, even if you go down to a lower time frame, that would have been, you know, a zone and then that's the breakout, right? It happened also at nine o'clock in, in, in London time. So you know there's, traders here high volume um lots of traders getting involved in that breakout especially probably because of you know the bias people switching their bias now lower highs lower lows being made now yeah but as soon as that happens we get a move to the upside a move to the upside and a little bit of a tiny bit of a pullback and then prices go to the upside right so for me there are traders potentially still caught. I'd prefer for them not to get off the hook, to be fair. I really would prefer them not to get off the hook, but this could also be some, um, you know, 38.2% Fib uh, pullback. Let me just have a look, Fib retracement. Yeah, it looks like it's, you know, they've probably tried to get short off of here. Uh, one second. So you can see there's a little level right there as well where you've got, let me just delete some of this stuff here so you've got some support support a little bit of support there should turn to what resistance starts to look like resistance there so if you break out traders we've got short here probably getting short potentially there but then obviously it, it just continues going higher so it's traders now caught in their positions at different levels now what i do like is the fact that it's you know allowed these traders so this is, there's been a bit of relief here for these uh 38.2 percent traders prices have gone obviously to the upside but uh, i think that the the dollar having not necessarily the greatest news regarding um cpi uh we're, we're getting this move and what i do like is that we've had one two three four five six seven bearish candles into a level i really like that so um, for me, I think that this area here is actually coming down into a nice 91.50 half number as well. So I think anywhere from now into deeper into this zone, I think is, is decent for a long trade. This is not a trade call. If this is not on your list of uh, uh, pairs to trade, then it's really not an opportunity for you because you really should have figured this out. Oh, done the analysis before um so um you know if you, if you if you haven't done your fundamental analysis then you know don't listen to me right you've got to do your own fundamental analysis yes just because i'm interested in this in this trade doesn't mean that you should be but the point being is that you know this isn't a trade call this is just for anyone who is uh, looking at the dollar swiss um you know i think this level is you know uh, this is a nice not necessarily a typical um setup but it is it is there, and I do think it is it is quite a nice uh, zone to look for um, some potential 
uh, long trades but again let's see what happens with the dollar um, if it's selling off etc um, but yeah small position and then see what happens all right guys uh, take care and I'll speak to you all soon